am sure that he will continue to increase his strength of heart. It is a given with so many friends. I am a little bit envious. Well then, farewell. Elizabeth? Elizabeth, are you listening? Huh. You seem lost in thought like that frequently of late. Could this mean that you finally began to be troubled over things, like a normal person? How scathing of you, as usual. Believe me, sister, I am not as bad as you. What's the matter? My dear sister, I want to tell you a fairy tale. Hmm? What's this about? In our world, at the far reaches of the Sea of the Soul, there stands a large door. A soul which devoted itself to sealing that door slumbers there. Why did it do such a thing? That soul is risking itself to prevent those who have lost sight of life's brilliance from luring the world to self-destruction. It has become the guardian of the door, of the whole world, in fact. That is a very sorrowful story. My dear sister, do you think I can save that person? Mm hmm? I thought it was a fairy tale. It may be impossible alone, but what if I joined forces to do it? This person's friends are capable of miracles at times. This person you speak of, is it... I hope you're not planning to... Oh, don't be silly, my dear sister. I told you, it was only a fairy tale. <sighs> oh, to a certain degree, all of your stories are like fairy tales. I don't know what's troubling you, but be sure that you don't neglect your duties. No, that's not quite right either. <laughs> to think I was unconsciously afraid of something and keeping my distance from it. That is quite a surprise. Though I cannot defeat that monster now, I may in time gain the power to truly erase it. To think the day would come where I would behold my own arcana and not that of a visitor's. And the beginning of a journey. It may be that my journey has finally truly begun. The fool, hmm? Well, I am aware that I still do foolish things. Please wait for me. One day I shall surely see my wish come true. Velvet, oh velvet. 
My master has a large nose. Lies, no, no need to fear. 